From the ambitious vision of John DeLorean to a symbol of nostalgia for the adventures of Marty McFly and Doc Brown, the DeLorean DMC-12 is possibly one of the most popular automotive failures in history. Now let's hit 88 miles per hour and explore the history of this iconic movie car. It was the 1950s, and the man behind it all, John Zachary DeLorean, began his career in the automotive industry, working for General Motors. And it's no surprise that his creativity and engineering skills quickly propelled him through the ranks and to playing a pivotal role in the development of cars such as the Pontiac GTO, of which is credited to be the first muscle car. By 1973, he decided it was time to leave GM for something new, something that could potentially be the future of the automotive industry, an idea for a sports car that could challenge the norms. However, at the time of leaving GM, he was facing accusations of financial improprieties and was under an ongoing investigation from the SEC. These allegations against DeLorean primarily revolved around his alleged misuse of company funds and his involvement in questionable financial dealings. It was claimed that he had diverted substantial amounts of money from GM for personal expenses and extravagant lifestyle choices. I want you to understand, we don't do anything illegal whatsoever. I mean, you could talk to the SEC. They were at my office 15 times over the last six months. So, I mean, I got nothing to hide. DeLorean, of course, would maintain his innocence throughout that entire process and would assert that the allegations were unfounded and politically motivated. Ultimately, the legal fallout from these circumstances, coupled with the financial challenges, would play a significant role in the subsequent founding and operation of the DeLorean Motor Company. Speaking of which, in 1975, John DeLorean founded the DeLorean Motor Company and hired a team of talented designers, including Giorgetto Giugiaro of the Italian design firm Ital Design, to develop the aesthetic for his car of the future. The DMC-12 definitely stood out with its combination of stainless steel body panels and gullwing doors. It certainly was futuristic looking for its time. John DeLorean had some ambitious plans for the DMC-12. However, many challenges plagued the project, from engineering challenges and and regulatory hurdles to funding shortages, of which, due to lack of funding, the British government actually became a major stakeholder in the company, investing millions of pounds into the project. Despite struggles, the DMC-12 was finally unveiled in October of 1980. As for the struggles, production and quality control issues pushed the release of the car to early 1981. In 1982, amidst the production run of the DMC-12, John DeLorean was arrested in Los Angeles on charges of drug trafficking as part of an elaborate FBI sting operation. I bet you didn't see that coming. And and neither did John DeLorean. Even though he was later acquitted of these charges, the negative publicity and legal expenses further hurt the already dwindling financials of the company. And in late 1982, the DeLorean Motor Company declared bankruptcy and ceased operations. By this time, around 9,000 DMC-12s had been produced. Any remaining inventory was sold off, and the company's assets were liquidated to repay creditors. This sadly marked the end of John DeLorean's ambitious vision for the DeLorean Motor Company. The production run for the DMC-12 was short-lived, only running from 1981 to 1983. Two years after the production run ended and the DeLorean Motor Company closed its doors, the DMC-12 would get a second life, becoming a pop icon for being featured as the time machine in the Back to the Future films. And this, of course, led to several attempts at reviving the DeLorean brand and to produce the DMC-12 once again. In the late 1990s, British entrepreneur Stephen Wynn acquired the remaining DeLorean parts inventory and established the DeLorean Motor Company in Texas with the purpose of providing parts, service, and restoration for existing DMC-12s. Although initially it did explore the possibility of producing new cars, ultimately they decided against this in favor of providing support to existing owners of DMC-12s. Although 
John DeLorean's automotive endeavors ultimately failed, there's no denying that he did what he set out to do. He had a hand in creating a car that was truly futuristic for its time, that holds a special place in the hearts of many, and has deservedly left its mark in pop culture.